Sunday Harika and welcome back. Well, today we are going to look at some very useful telephone phrases. Do you find it difficult to make a call in English? Well, some people do. So, in this lesson, we are going to look at some phrases to speak fluently on the phone. The reason because if you are working for an international company or if you're traveling abroad, it's essential for you to call in English, right? To speak English over the phone. So, how are you going to do that? How are you going to conquer that obstacle to fluency? We're going to look at some phrases here. So, imagine you are the caller. So, the first thing that you do is you call, you dial the number and you make contact. And what's the first phrase that you would use? Well, of course, you're going to say hello. But then after that, what follows is hello, I would like to speak to. So, of course, you're calling someone. The reason because you want to speak to someone, right? So, the first phrase that you're going to use is hello, I would like to speak to Mr. John. Or I would like to speak to Neharika. Okay? So, this is the first thing that you're going to say if you are the caller. Okay? If you are calling someone. The second phrase that I have for you is, uh, of course, you would like to give out some more information about you. So, you are going to say, I'm calling from so and so company. Okay? So, you're going to mention what company are you calling from. So, this is another phrase that you can use when you start the call. So, another one is, I'm calling on behalf of Mr. John. Okay? So, you, you have called a company and you are again giving out some information. You're going to say, I'm calling on behalf of Mr. John. So, these are certain phrases that you can use when you are the caller, when you are the one who's making the call. Now, here we have some set of phrases that will be used by the receiver. So, now you imagine that you are at the receiving end, okay? You are the one who's answering the call. Hey, hello, how can I help you? Okay, so this is the way maybe you can start your call if someone has called you or you can also use the phrase where are you calling from so if you don't know who the person is and you do not have any idea where he's calling from or you know what kind of help he needs the right phrase to use is where are you calling from so here you're trying to gather some information about the caller so these are the phrases to start your call now, let's have a look at some more phrases that would help you to talk fluently on the phone. So, here are some phrases for you when you have to ask someone to hold the line. So, here I have just a moment please. So, you're on a call and probably you want to put the caller on hold. So, you can use the phrase just a moment please. Okay, simple, and very casual, just a moment please. Another phrase is, could you hold on please? So, here you're being polite, you're showing your manners, okay? So, you're going to ask, uh, may I put you on hold or could you hold on please, okay? And then the third phrase is, hang on. Now, hang on can be only used with your friends and your family, okay? Please don't use it in the professional world, in the business world, okay? It's not polite. So, hang on is a very casual way of asking someone to hold the line, okay? So, these are some phrases that you can use to ask someone to hold on, okay? Then, not always you will end up giving a positive response to the caller, right? So, there are some negative information that you would end up giving. Where what I mean to say is maybe the caller has called for someone and this person is not in the office or probably he or she is busy and she can't take the call right now. 
So how would you give out this information to the caller is right here. These are the phrases that you can use. I'm afraid he is not in the office. So maybe the caller has called for Mr. John, but Mr. John is not in the office right now. So as a receiver, you're going to end up giving this information to the caller with the phrase, I'm afraid he's not in the office. Okay. Another phrase is, I'm sorry, she's in a meeting right now. So probably the caller has called for someone, but this person is busy in a meeting. Okay, or she's just busy with something. So you would apologize. Okay, again, here you are being polite and you will end up saying, I'm sorry, she's in a meeting right now. Okay, and then probably the caller has dialed the wrong number. So are you going to be mean to him? Are you going to say, hey, it's wrong number, hang up? No, that's mean. So the right phrase to use for a caller who has dialed the wrong number is, I'm afraid you've got the wrong number, or I'm sorry, this is the wrong number that you've dialed. Okay, so this is a good phrase to use for someone who has ended up dialing a wrong number. I'm afraid you have got the wrong number. Okay, please remember, be nice, be polite when you end up using these phrases. Now let's have a look at some more phrases. Now at times the telephone lines are not clear or probably there are some network issues. So that's related to telephone problems. Many people just end up saying, hello, hello, hello. Okay, that's not gonna help. The something that you would say is, your voice is cracking or your voice is jarring. So the word cracking and jarring are slang words, okay, which are used for a person whose voice is not clear. You're unable to hear him or her clearly. You can just, you know, kind of listen to pieces, okay? So that's exactly the word you can use as a slang that's cracking or jarring, okay? But if you want to use it in the business world, the right phrase would be, the line is very bad. Could you repeat? Or the line is very bad. I can't hear you. Could you call us back? Okay, so that's a very professional way of saying that the line is bad. Probably you're unable to hear that person. Or you can also say, I'm afraid I can't hear you. So rather than just screaming on top of your lungs, hello, hello, stop. You can just use this phrase that I'm afraid I can't hear you. Could you call us back? Okay. So these are the phrases that you can use when you are facing telephone problems or network issues. Okay. And then it's time to end your call. So if you haven't spoken to the person that you wanted to, you would leave a message for him okay so you can always use these phrases okay if you're at the receiving end okay if you are the receiver you would ask would you like to leave a message okay so probably the receiver has just mentioned that so and so person is busy in a meeting or is in a conference okay so would you like to leave a message or would you like to call back okay or can I pin down a message? Okay, there's another option for you, another phrase for you. Can I pin down a message? Okay, so this is when a receiver would ask the caller. But if you are the caller and the receiver has not bothered to ask you these questions, then you can end up saying that, hey, can I leave a message for him, please? Okay, so you would say, can I leave or can you pin down a message for him, please? Okay, if you are the caller. So these are certain phrases that you can use when you are calling or receiving a call. It's nice, I'm sure these phrases would help you to talk fluently 
And do not forget your manners. Please be polite. Please be nice on the phone. All right. I'll be back with a new lesson soon. Till then, you take care and have a good day.